Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to share with you my uh, plans to turn this lovely 13 gallon all-in-one into a high-end SPS tank. I was at my uh, local uh, fish store uh, a couple of uh, weeks ago and I found this uh, Fluval Evo 13.5. It's a 13.5 all-in-one tank uh, and it, it was about 200 bucks but I had accumulated enough points <laughs> at, uh, at my local fish store uh, that I was able to just purchase uh, this whole tank on my points. And so I'm gonna I'm gonna show you uh, what you get with the kit and also some of my plans for this uh, tank. All right, so here's what you get with the tank uh, with the kit. You get this 13.5 uh, uh, tank, 13.5 uh, gallon tank. It's got uh, these uh, three compartments. So obviously here is the overflow water goes in there, and then it has two chamber uh, actually three chambers the uh, overflow. Uh, chamber one and chamber two and so the idea here is you have uh, your filtration media and your return pump here uh, with the kit you also get uh, this uh, sponge uh, so this is meant to fit into uh, the second compartment here uh, you get this uh, return pump uh, with this uh, adapter you actually get two size adapters but this is the one that uh, works with the line so sorry Hard to do this with a single hand there we go so this fits in like that and then you have this uh, I think this is a quarter of an inch or half an inch seems too small for half an inch uh, so you uh, connect this up here and then you have your kind of return line with two nozzles so this this goes on one side here and then the idea is to drop your return the idea is to drop your return pump in this chamber have your water line connected up here and water shoots out of there and you also get a cover so you get a canopy for the display you get a cover for your compartments here there's some cutouts for wires and an optional protein skimmer here. You also get this LED light that sits right in the spot here. It's a 14K light, I believe. So what am I gonna do with this? Uh, <laughs> so I'm, I, I, have, I have an idea. I, my, my idea is to try to see if I could apply all of uh, the things that I have learned from uh, keeping my Red Sea Reefer 250 and, and growing Acropora in my Red Sea Reefer 250 and see whether I could apply this knowledge to this new tank. So the goal of this tank, if uh, you know what I'm imagining in, in two years time, that, that's the goal guys, uh, in two years time, uh, I've got a, I should be able to look at this colony, uh, this tank and see two beautiful like high-end Acropora colony, one right here and one right there, nothing else. Uh, no fish, maybe a small cleanup crew, but just a couple of really lovely Acropora colonies. And, you know, I, I know what you're thinking. It's, it's going to be really challenging to turn this nano tank uh, without a sump into, uh, into a container that could make uh, Acropora colonies uh, grow and, and color up. So uh, we'll see how it goes. I'm, I, I could, uh, you know, we'll... We'll uh, start with the stock equipment. Uh, so I have, uh, I've read some reviews on this and certainly this light is powerful enough to grow uh, LPS. Uh, it can provide like 200 par really close to the surface. So I'm not entirely sure how far I'll be able to get with this light, uh, but we'll see. Uh, and I also plan to start out with just all stock equipment. Uh, so obviously I need a heater and, and a power head. Uh, but uh, I was I wasn't gonna install a protein skimmer for filtration. I thought I was gonna have like by uh, uh, Ciparax. I have Ciparax in, in uh, running in my Red Sea Reefer 250 or or uh, Seachem Matrix. Uh, I'm thinking maybe of, like growing Cheto in this uh, compartment uh, to control the nutrients. Uh, but you know what? We'll we'll see how it goes. So obviously, you know, I'm not gonna 
I'm not gonna spend hundreds of dollars on, on frags and just dumping it to here. Uh, what I plan to do is uh, first test out the system and test out the concept uh, with some of the frags that I have from my, uh, from my uh, bigger tank. Uh, so maybe I'll spend six months just seeing whether my frags from my, uh, my Red Sea Reefer are, will, will do well here. Uh, and if I get the chemistry and the lighting right and my frags are going, then I'm gonna uh, remove the frags and, and aquascape the way I wanna, wanna see. Again, I wanna have a very minimalist landscape, just like well, I don't wanna see any sand, I, I don't wanna see any rocks, I just wanna see two Acropora colonies, one in this corner and one in that corner uh, with lovely colors. Maybe uh, one, one kind of uh, one blue and one red. We'll 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 see. Uh, okay, guys. So uh, stay tuned for uh, uh, for this build. Uh, hopefully, uh, you know I'll I'll, I'll chronicle uh, the progress along the way, just like I did with my uh, Red Sea Reefer. Uh, I'm sure there's going to be lots of challenges uh, uh, that I need to overcome, just like I did in the other system. I, I think I could pull it off. I, I think I could really like have uh, a nano high-end SPS tank without uh, without a sump, without a skimmer, and and just uh, try to maintain the water quality with uh, with this little space that I have here. Okay, uh, stay tuned. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe.